Today is the 43rd anniversary of the attack on the USS Liberty. This was a deadly two-hour assault by Israeli forces on the U.S. ship, which killed 34 Americans. And yet there are few who speak about this day. ORG correspondent Jahan Hafiz has this story. Still betrayed by our government and for the cover-up and the Israeli government for covering it up. Before Israeli commandos shot nine peace activists to death aboard the Mavi Marmara, 34 American military men were killed by Israeli jet fighter planes. It happened in 1967 during the Six-Day War, and it became an event these men and women would live with for the rest of their lives. This is usually the scene of sorrow and pain, and amongst these headstones is a hidden chapter in American history. And every year, the survivors of the USS Liberty and the family members of the victims come here to commemorate the tragic events that took place 43 years ago. It's, it's an honor for me to get a chance to honor them at least once, once a year. It's not anger, it's um, sadness, great sadness that not only a close ally deliberately attacked this ship, but that the United States kind of sat by and allowed it to happen. For 40 years, survivors of the USS Liberty, sworn under oath, were forbidden to tell their stories. But today, the surviving crewmen talk candidly about the dreadful day they nearly lost their lives. Prepared to abandon ship, we couldn't even open the hatch up because they were shooting at us so bad. There was no place to go. They shot the life rafts. If we had to go into the water, there would have probably been no survivors. Jim Smith was aboard the Liberty when it was bombed for over two hours by the Israeli Air Force. The Israelis claimed it was a mistaken identity, uh, and, and the US, United States government bought that explanation. Uh, I'm saying a mistaken identity does not allow you sufficient time to shoot all the antennas, to shoot the four gun tubs that we had, and to strafe the bridge. If it's a mistaken identity, then you don't know what you're looking at. As the years drag on, the anniversary never gets any easier. There's nothing, uh, medicine, booze, nothing takes it away. It's just, it's just something you have to live with. The tale of the USS Liberty became a story of courage and betrayal. A gaping wound eating away at the survivors. As another year passes by, without a congressional investigation, the survivors wonder if justice will ever come their way hoping with uncertainty that one day Israel will face harsh penalties for killing American citizens in an event many claim was a cover-up. Jahan Hafez, RT, Washington, D.C. Well, Jahan's here in the studio to give us a few more details. Uh, you know, Jahan, you mentioned that these men were actually sworn by oath to keep this a secret, which I had no idea. So when was it that they were finally allowed to come out and talk? Well, this was following an investigation by the Navy. So, of course, once the USS Liberty was bombed, you can imagine there's a huge uproar within the armed forces. And they had to launch some kind of investigation, although it did shine Israel in a bad light. Well, we later found out that that um, investigation was actually a whitewash. And a lot of the documents that were given by the NSA were actually fabricated. And so in order to keep a lot of these guys, as you saw in the package, in order to get them, keep them um, silent about what happened, they made them swear they would not speak about the incident at all or they'd be court-martialed and so they were threatened to, um, uh, to to keep silent until the investigation wrapped up and it never went anywhere it's a horrible story and you said that you know they, they never got any kind of justice did you ask them what kind of justice they would want what that would mean for them yeah definitely I mean a congressional investigation is what they're asking for but aside from a congressional investigation we were at the Arlington National Cemetery you know men there have died for World War II World War I the current wars right now they are not acknowledged there's no chapter in American history that talks about what happened to these men and they want to be recognized in US history for what happened to them even if it does shine a bad light on how um, on what Israel did to them which was blatantly go in there and bomb them for two hours you know I think that most Americans, if you were to walk around on the street, probably never even heard of, of the story, probably don't know about the USS Liberty. And here we are, like we said, the 43rd anniversary. And the timing couldn't be more perfect with, uh, with everything that's going on in Gaza with the Israeli raid of the flotilla. Did you get the same impression? Did you walk around on the streets and ask people if they were aware of this day? Alana, that's an excellent question, and especially bringing in the Gaza flotilla attack. So there were um, nine na uh, Turkish nationals, one American citizen, um, killed on the recent Gaza flotilla attack. There were 34 American servicemen 
killed in 1967. Of course, we definitely asked people on the streets, you know, have you heard the Gaza flotilla attack? Yes, we did. Well, how many people died in the USS Liberty? What's that? Well, that's where 34, you know, uh, military guys were killed, 170 wounded. So what happened back in 1967, there was no Google, there was no way for people to uncover this kind of information. There was no media. So it was much, it was much easier to wipe it under the table and get on with life simply because they didn't have these... Um, these mechanisms really to expose what was going on. Well, it's definitely something that Americans should be aware about, especially in light of uh, recent events. That was Jahan Hafiz. Now, coming up.